Well, hello and welcome to all of our viewers here today. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC for Gold Learning. Back here today, chatting with another one of our speakers from our Gold Lactation Conference, which is coming up right away. And it's never too late to join in all the education that we have this year. And of course, we're doing a lot of connection and community work this year so that we can be together online learning um, some incredible topics coming up relevant to what's happening in the world today and I know that you are going to benefit from it. March 30th is our kickoff day so hopefully you can come to that day. We're going to have Brina Sampi here with us and she is going to be sharing an incredible topic all about reflexes in infants. I know that you're that is going to be a worthwhile uh, jump in on that one for sure. You can go to our website at goldlactation.com. You can register for just Brina's presentation presentation that is absolutely free, free and exclusive to all of you so you'll be able to listen to it you can also join us for the recording as well if you can't make it on that day and you are working well make sure that you join us um, at a later time now here today I'm sitting down with Sejel Fachadia and uh, I promised her I would try and say her name properly today and it's great to have you Sejel thank you so much uh, for being here and part of this conference now listen uh, when I sat down with you last year, we've known each other for a while, right? But when I sat down with you last year and um, I was desperate to chat with you because I knew that you would just, um, were, having someone like you come and teach um, at our conference is so important. Um, and um, and I know you were very humble about um, how impressed I was with all your work. And um, but it is it's amazing because you communicate it so well. Um, you said they're very some of them are very simple techniques, but make a huge difference um, in our in our little ones. So I'm so glad that you agreed to come and talk and you will be live and on camera um, demonstrating um, what you're going to be talking about as well. Right, Sejal? Yes, I will. And thank you for having me on this wonderful online platform. Yeah, no, absolutely. I can't wait for you to be with us and um, it will be a great event. Now, let's go back and talk a little bit about you. I want to know a little bit about, um, you know, where you are in the world so you can share that with our delegates. And then, of course, tell them what you what you do and what life looks like for you today right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I am a private practice lactation consultant mm -hmm. and I currently live in the Pacific Northwest uh, of the United States uh, in the state mm -hmm. called Oregon and the mm -hmm. city where I live is called Hillsboro. Oh, Originally I am from India. There, and so when did you come? When did you come? Did you come with your parents or did you come recently? When did you come from India? So I came to the United States in 1999 and have um, been in Hillsboro since then. Oh, I fantastic. grew up uh, in India, though. I grew up yeah. in India when I was 24 when I came to the United States. Oh, wow. So you have, do you have family there in India as well? Uh, so my parents and my in-laws and my in-law side of the family all mm -hmm. are in India. My siblings are here in the United States. Excellent. Well, I know um, just from working at Gold and I have made um, so many amazing connections in India because the work in maternal child health is actually quite amazing, Sajal. Were, were you able to see that when you were there or have you um, gotten to see that since you moved? Um, you know, I was able to see that uh, up close because my m parents worked in a municipal hospital as physicians ah, and right. my dad was a general surgeon and yep. my mom is a family physician and an oh, anesthetist. Wow. So yep. I saw babies being delivered and breastfed um, since wow. I was very little. <laughs> <laughs> what a gift that must have been. That is amazing. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm just, um, just so honored that uh, wow, what a great tracing that you have in your life that they are there and there's are they still working? Are they still um, doing those things too? Uh, yes, they are. They are still oh. uh, they own a hospital there and yep. um, it's a grassroots level hospital, but yep. they're happy serving their community. Amazing. That's amazing. What a great story and a great also to pass on. You have children yourself now. I do. I have two. One is 16, uh, yep. a girl and a 13 year old boy. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Now tell me a little bit about life today, because you were mentioning um, you're in private practice. And of course, um, you know, we're dealing uh, with a pandemic worldwide with COVID-19. And so mm -hmm. what has shifted for you in the last couple of weeks, Sejal? So what has shifted is um, that I have gone to an online telehealth platform um, in consulting my clients, uh, mm -hmm. but I still feel that there is uh, there is going to be an increased need uh, for skilled lactation care um, given the current situation um, and we need more breastfeeding uh, parents and to protect these babies and so we need more support for these parents so um, if I'm called upon uh, to do the work um, in the field I'm happy to do it but right now I'm trying to stay safe and keep everyone else safe around me and doing telehealth uh, consults from my home. Well thank you for uh, sharing that Sejal. I wanted to also um, jump into your topic as well and talk a little bit about um, what you're going to be sharing on because you're going to be talking about massage techniques and those types of things and there was a couple of things that we we were talking about earlier that are going to be really important moving forward um, as you're going to be demonstrating on camera which is which is going to be great because listen we all need to see these things in action um, but the two things that we were reflecting on were the importance of hygiene as we move forward reflectively with um, you know the concerns that we have um, but also how important it is going to be to continue touching babies and to communicate to that families um, you've been thinking a lot about this recently I have been, and as much as I would um, uh, suggest that people uh, and professionals uh, mm -hmm. around the world follow uh, the appropriate uh, safety and hygiene guidelines around COVID-19, I also don't want uh, parents to miss out on um, having this uh, touch that is so vital to their baby's um, mental health. Uh, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, kind of uh, the underlying message of safety still remains, but we mm -hmm. can always instruct our parents uh, to wash their hands and um, not touch their own faces when they're massaging their babies. Uh, and they, they can still continue to use all of these uh, facial massage strokes, specifically uh, in a time when we are not able to do these um, in-person consults or in-person mm -hmm. care for a lot of these parents. The parents are going to be the intervention for their babies. So it becomes extremely important for us as professionals to be able to allow the parents to have um, these uh, skills in their, you know, toolbox as parents to calm their babies, to soothe their babies, yes. to help their babies latch better. Yes, yes. I'm all of a sudden I, I was thinking about, you know, how babies take on our stress. You know, yeah. you've noticed that, I've seen that. I'm sure people listening in can relate to that. So how important is it going to be that we are doing um all sorts of gentle massage and you know just for reducing stress and anxiety that's in our homes right now? Mm -hmm. So I think that what what makes sense in my head it is uh, for these parents who are already at a high anxiety level for the safety of their infants, uh, we need to give them more tools to interact with their babies yes. within the safe uh, container of their homes or the safe container of their NICUs, of course, with the health, their healthcare provider's permission. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't see any harm happening to babies when parents follow these safe guidelines to hand washing and not Absolutely. touching surfaces before massaging to continue to make a big difference in their babies' uh, lives. Yeah, and their no. own lives. It's it's a yes. mutual and a reciprocal process. It's not not just uh, just for the babies. It is benefiting the parents as much mm. as it is benefiting our babies. I just love that. You know, um, you know, when you said reciprocal behavior, and it reminds us again that you know, as a as a parent and an infant, it's a dyad. You know, and they're always um, it's a, re a cycle of when they're working together, behaving together. You know, in that relationship, and it's really important that you know we are giving them as many tools as possible. I can see that you know massage therapy is going to be one of those things that although perhaps you you know you can't go out or you can't do certain things right now, but but in, within the home, um, those things are going to be so important for all children of all ages, adults included, let's face it, uh, Sejal. Um, yes. But for I know for the purpose of this, um, you know, the presentation that you're teaching us, um, I was just going to get the title again because I want everybody to hear what you're talking on. So teaching infant facial massage uh, to parents to 
support a functional latch. Um, and I, and of course, we've just been talking way beyond just the latch here, but you, I mean, I know you've communicated to me before that, you know, there are so many benefits beyond just the latch, but this is something that you have seen um, that has just, in, you know, um, improved so many things for uh, mother baby when they've had struggles with their latch, correct? <laughs> Indeed, and I think that we see more and more babies um, born um, at the hospitals more than the birth centers or at home, and mm -hmm. these babies need more of our help and more of the um, work that we are doing as lactation folks, but I also want to remind that the face is the most interesting uh, feature mm -hmm. in our body, right? Mm -hmm. um, it is also like the headquarters, the sensory headquarters, right. because we have all of our sense organs on our face, the, you know, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, everything is on the face. So, uh, you know, why not uh, engage the parents in uh, working with the face skin and mm -hmm. uh, improving the abilities of these infants who may have a compromised latch, who may not be able to open their mouths wide enough to latch. And we focus uh, so much on the inside of the mouth as lactation professionals, because functionally we need to assess these babies, but we also need to look beyond what is happening inside the mouth and look at what is the facial symmetry telling us or what kind of tensions they are holding around their mouth outside mm -hmm. their mouth outside their eyes nose you know because all of these organs are going to be used uh, for breastfeeding yeah, no, just so important. And you know what I want to hear right now? I, I'm And people can comment below in the comments. So comment below if this is something that you're already incorporating into your practice um, or perhaps you used it yourself um, and, um, and the improvements that you've seen. So I really think that this is going to be great as we sort of grapple with um, skills that we can improve on, skills that we can pass on to our mothers. And of course, with the many of us doing telemedicine, online uh, lactation care, um, you know, we're going to be teaching through a, a webcam. So this is exactly what Sejal is going to show us. Um, she's going to be teaching us and then we can show our families. So be sure to tune in, um, you know, to listen to Sejal. Now tell me, um, how did you get involved in doing this? I'm just really curious. What started this journey for you and working um, in this area? Because you, I know you don't just do this because um, I also know you're a doula and you do tummy time and you teach lots of parents. But specifically, what, what connected with you and massage? Um, so massages has, has been a part of my life because I enjoy getting massages, but uh -huh. I also grew up with massage in India right. and um, I don't remember seeing any um, parents uh, around me uh, not mm -hmm. touching their baby's faces. And right. uh, when I became an infant massage educator, it became even more important to me to understand um, how I could uh, bring that skill into my IBCLC toolkit and mm -hmm. incorporate that to uh, facilitate um, these parents with, um, you know, hands-on techniques that sure. um, they feel empowered to do with their babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. I think that, um, you know, this is something that is age old and has been around forever. And just with some, I know, some simple techniques and skills and building on that with our families, um, the, the, the differences that I've seen are just profound. And I know that I know that you agree sold already, but um, I can't wait for you to teach us some more because what I what I don't know is I don't know all the different aspects of how to really uh, manage it and all the kind Kind of nuances that you have learned and so I can't wait for you to teach us on those things as well. Thank you so much. Thank you Fiona. I look forward to meeting everyone in the delegate room and the speaker room and look forward to learning more uh, myself from all the yeah. conferences speakers. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, that's wonderful. So don't forget, you can go to our website right now at goldlactation.com. Um, Sejal is going to be with us here on Tuesday the 7th. So that's uh, of April. All right. So that's going to be her live day. If you want to come and chat with her online, we'll be doing a live Q&A. Um, she's going to be showing us on video as well what to do and how to improve those sessions. Um, and of course, it will be recorded. So if you can't make it that day, uh, but you can go to the website, check out all the details there as well. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today, Sajal. And of course, to all of you, our viewers, our delegates out there, it's been great having you here. Don't forget to comment below. And if you've got any questions for Sajal, you can leave them there as well. And we'll look forward to passing them on. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye for now. Thanks. Bye.